Gentlemen, congratulations. A real statement performance here at the World Cup. A real statement of intent from the pair of you. Does it feel that way? Yeah, well, we played really well. Um, it wasn't much of a statement we had no. to make, but we just had to be up for it. Uh, yeah. Philippines is a really tough country. Show um, the right focus. Yeah, Christian Perez is, is, is doing really good on the Pro Tour, of course. His, uh, his compatriots, we don't really know much about and it, but no there was no underestimation from our side. So we said from the beginning, we're going to have to be full focus, 100%. No, no doubting, no underestimating, because as soon as you do that, you lost and it's only a best of seven. One if they keep their own leg in the first leg, one break and you're in trouble. So a, we, little, a little bit of positivity for them could yeah, mean so much so, and they can step up. And once again, we can rely on the fact what we just saw from the Taiwan, Chinese Taipei. They just showed exactly how dangerous these Asian teams are. So we've just done the job how we had to do it. Just touching on what you said there, is it a relief now the format? goes up so those yeah. shots yeah, definitely. aren't there. Definitely. It is the, a relief. <laughs> the longer the format the better for us especially yeah. against we'll say uh, the, the smaller countries even smaller the best names. even against the best but the like longer the format the, the, the better it is yeah. um, the shorter the format the more upsets you'll get and then uh, that's exactly what we didn't want to what we didn't want to have is an upset in our group because it was a very tough group to be honest Singapore and Philippines you have to say those are three teams that would be a really nice name in the top 16 yeah and, and two of them are out the two of them are out so uh, it has happened in the past i have so. to say i'm i am delighted uh, personally to be on top of this group the averages were really good but it seemed quite a lethargic game did that struggle to get into it because of the pace because you didn't show it i said to me from the start like we both know well funny enough i watched a little bit uh, in the afternoon and he told me he hasn't watched anything and i was like well, I don't really mind if a player against me takes his time. I'm also one of them that sometimes tell himself, have an extra breath. And it's all about how you work in your mind. It's a mental game. And if you have more time, that means you need to work mentally more. If you're positive, it doesn't really matter how much time you get. And, and that's exactly how I'm feeling. So I said straight away to him, let them have a lot of time. It doesn't really matter. We can still do what we need to do. And I just said to him, and that's all he needs and that's all I know. First start, get it straight, get it right, the rest will follow. And guess what happened? He also banged in a, in a max, a 180. We're playing well, it's consistently scoring. Laszlik as well, I'm the one missing the trebles, but every visit he had, it was a treble that he hit and that put me on 50, bang, bang. We got the job done, we've done the deal, and I think we're just growing. Growing is all we need, and that's what we want, especially if you want to win a title. For the first time in a while, people weren't really talking about Belgium to win this. Really but after two performances like that, do you think now they will be taking notice? I think it's a bit the same as the football, like when we <laughs> was in Qatar. No, when we was in Qatar, <laughs> and and uh, Belgium was bombarded there as one of the favourites, and it, it, it made them choke a little bit. It's difficult when you are one of the favourites. It's more easy to be one of the outsiders or not being talked at all. Uh, the less they because, talk, the more we can surprise. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. I've never seen us as favourites, I've always seen us as, if we are on the day, we can beat anyone, it can Any be team. the number one and two of the world, it doesn't yeah. matter, if we are on the day, we can do a lot of damage, and yeah. it's up to us to be on that day, and we're going to have to be on the day tomorrow, and on the Sunday as well, if we make it, if we can do that, hey, everything's possible. No problem. Thank you. Kim, it's an interesting point that you make there when you say that being favourites can add more pressure. We heard Simon Whitlock yesterday say that he doesn't think that the New England team, Luke Cumbers and Michael Smith, will work well together because they're great individuals but maybe don't have that team experience. Do you think that's where you guys can really show up the rest of the tournament? You've been I playing have, for Belgium for so long. I have said the same already in the interview yesterday. I know that Michael Smith is a world champion, a multiple major champion. So is Luke Humphries. These guys are phenomenal players on their own. But we've seen with our own eyes, doesn't matter which football team you are, let's even say as well England, full of quality, but it's got to work together. It's not about individuality, it's about team. And these guys are fantastic players, full of quality, but it's got to happen the moment that you play in pairs. How often do we play pairs in the professional season, the professional circuit? Very simple, just once. It's a whole lot more space, it's a whole lot more different than what we are used to do. So, 
we cannot say this is what's going to happen, but I am curious to how they're going to perform, that's for sure. But I'm not going to say they're going to be perfect like we've seen them in the past. We know a lot of people were talking about Belgium entering this tournament, but do you think other teams might be a bit disappointed seeing how dangerous you two are working together? Not only working together well, but playing well as well. Do you think teams might have been hoping that you wouldn't be quite this good? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. They're not disappointed about us getting along or playing good on stage. Uh, the thing is, you don't want to draw Belgium, whether it's me and Dimitri, it was in the past me and Ronnie, whether it's going to be in the future someone else. Belgian players has always had quality players. We've There's had that for, for 10 or 20 years. So uh, we've never been favourites for tournaments. We've always been outsiders. Dimitri's proved it to win majors. Never as a, as a favourite, but always as a dangerous outsider. And yeah, this is true. indifferent. And we've just got a good mentality. And OK, the, the most important thing now is to set the differences aside and just to be here as a pair, to be here as a country, to be here as a nation. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. Are other countries disappointed? I think not. But are other countries worried? <laughs> are other countries worried about drawing us? Yeah, I think so. I don't Definitely. think they want to play us. Especially after the game. Guys, huge well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anytime, fellas.